Hey Vine Makers, it's Lila with LP Novelties and today we are doing our tree planning sheet for this year. As you all know, Chance and I love to do different themes for every year for our Christmas tree and um, I always kind of sketch it out to get an idea of what we want it to look like. So we're going to bring you guys along so you guys can see the process. I think I filmed this last year, but um, I'm going to bring out last year's um design so you can see it and i have my christmas planner here again like i said this is the planning theme covered in case you don't know and um i think i have it towards the back yeah under notes i have our christmas tree design from last year and we did um what was the theme for this one winter wonderland let's try to remember what we called it <laughs> so i just always do a quick little sketch and i have samples of the ribbon that we're going to be using and then um I kind of just sketch out what it's going to look like and how we want the ribbon to lay. It's just something fun to look at. And Chance loves this because he'll hold it and be like, okay, this is how the tree is going to look. So I already um, went ahead and selected some ribbon with Chance. And he loves this theme. He's calling it, he picked up the, the name of it, and it's called uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. It's going to be the theme of our Christmas year for 2020. And um, we have two of the ribbons. I still need to buy one more but i'm waiting for them to go on sale again so these are from michael's and they are um priced 9.99 but we got these for 40 percent off so i'm going to wait till they're 50 percent off or 60. they normally do 60 percent off for like um i think it's like black friday so i probably might do that um, to get a couple extra ones of these again trying to do the holidays on a budget and um i have this one which is my favorite how cute is this santa there's this little clear um, tape there but I love the Santa so Chance thought he was cute too and what we love of him are his green, uh, green mittens and that's kind of um, where we pulled the accent colors. so whenever you're picking out ribbons for your tree always think about like accent colors um, that can work together so I'll give you an example for last year um, we did winter wonderland and we brought in red because we have a lot of like red uh, decor as well so think about the decor you already have in your house and try to bring some of that into your um, space so right here we did let it snow ribbon that had the red trim and it had a little bit of glitter on this so then we brought some of that glitter onto the snowflakes that again if you're going with the let it snow i think that's what we called it the let it snow tree um and then um we brought the snowflakes and then this had snowflakes but it was really um soft so it was just a mix of textures and elements so that's how we put it together um the ribbons and you can have fun like that bringing in different patterns so this one is our accent color and how beautiful is this green i love it so much so this is the green that we're using for our tree and i love how it pulls the green of the midden so when you see it on the tree you'll see that color pop more and that's how we decided on our um just um ribbon selection and i'll put a picture here of the other one that we'll be getting um chance wants that one so i'm like okay we'll get one of those to put it in the bow so i'm not doing the bow just yet so um it's going to be a reindeer because he's like santa needs reindeer so i'm going to incorporate that into the bow but you guys will see the whole um design concept come together and then one last element that we're adding on the tree like around it probably like prop next to it is the sign that you guys saw me do in my collab with michelle from plan on it I love this. So this is to Santa. I mean, to family from Santa. So it's like Santa's giving us the Christmas tree. Isn't that so cute? So let's get to drawing because I know you guys like to see some drawing. So I have some micron pens. I have a pencil. I have my markers. And I'm just going to use one of the, the papers in the back to sketch out my tree. All right. So I have this um, um, section back here, like I said, for notes. And I'm just going to insert these two um, sheets. These are from the holiday uh, filler sheets that came out this year. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to just plop this in like this. I'm not sure if I'll create a cover for this. I just probably will keep it right here. So I'm going to do it like this, I think. And I probably will put Christmas tree 2020 up here. And then um, the same concept of like the samples of the ribbon on this side. And then I'm going to draw out the tree on this side because it has grid dot. And I like that it has that tree trim on the side, or excuse me, on the edge. So we'll do that. And then if I need to white out these dots, I will, but it really doesn't bother me. But we'll see how it looks like at the end. So let's take this out of the way. And um, 
get to sketching out first our tree and then I'll show you how I kind of lay out these ribbons to help me stay um, planned out for our Christmas tree design. Okay guys, so I sketched it up, and as you can tell, that's what it looks like before I'm gonna color it in. Um, I like to add color so I can visualize it, and Chance loves that. So there is the cute little sign, and the ribbon, which will be the Santa one coming down, and the green one wrapping around the tree. And then the bow will be made up of those two ribbons that I showed you. So now, time to bring out the markers and color this in. All right, bike makers, the sketch is done and how cute did that come out? There is our Christmas tree with the Santa and reindeer bow and then Santa will just be the only ribbon going down and then the green ribbon going around. And I really love how it turned out, super cute. I think it's gonna look adorable this year. And then I love this little picture of what the tag will look like up against the tree. I can't wait to decorate our Christmas tree um, and I can't wait for a chance to see this. Um, so I'm going to do the ribbons now on this side just to um, document what's going to be where. And um, I have the sticker from the Christmas uh, planner companion that was sent out to me. I like this Happy Christmas. So I think I want to put it down here. And then I have my alphabet sticker book. Um, I want to spell out Christmas tree 2020 or Santa's coming to town. Maybe I could write out Santa's coming to town just with a marker for the theme. And I'll use like a box. But I want to do Christmas 2020. I'm just trying to find some colors that I like. Um, I think I might do it in this red. I think I have enough letters in this one. Yeah. And it has numbers too, so that's perfect. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to just put this to the side. Make sure I'm centered so you guys can see. All right. So let's get to decorating and then I'll do the theme, I believe, on that side. But we'll see once I lay these down. But I'm just going to start laying these down and then I'll be right back. All right, so the letters are spelled out and I have my title sheet. So I think I saw some, I think it was in the sticker book, My Merry Bright, and I have my holiday sticker books next to me. I think they have some like washi. So I'm thinking of doing like a washi because you guys know I love doing my little title page. I'm wondering if I should do this because it has that ribbon theme. So it goes along with the theme of just laying out ribbon. I think it'll be a cute little... There we go. Oh, that's cute. I like that. And there is like this tiny tree right here. This is the Christmas sticker sheets. They have this available on, I believe, I still think it's available on Happy Planner. If not, I think Hobby Lobby's carrying it. Oh my god, so cute. I love that. All right, and then is there anything else I can add? I feel like I might need something there. I just want something small. Maybe some of this little confetti. Okay, super cute. Love it. All right, so I'm just gonna cut out a piece of each of these ribbons. So 
I make sure I save some for the tree. And then this one I actually have to cut where you can see Santa. So I'm gonna have to cut it right there. And normally for um, a tree that I design, like when I'm decorating it, I normally go about two rolls of each of these. So it'd be like two rolls of the green so it's enough to wrap around the tree and then two rolls of this for it to be the bow and cascading down. I just love the look of like ribbon on a tree. I think it's a really easy way to like switch out your decor each year without having to change up everything in your house. Like I really honestly don't switch up much of the decor that I have. I just carry it, carry it throughout the years unless I find something super cute, then I'll add to it. But what I always switch out is the ribbon and it's just really an expensive way to switch it out as long as you get them like on sale, like at $5. Um, it's about $20 and you switch out your tree look every year and it's just a fun way to mix it up and I love when the tree looks different every year. I don't know, I just it's something really fun and Chance loves the um, uh, aspect of like having a different theme and picking it out. So it's just something that I involve him in and I think it's really great to involve your kids in decisions and it just teaches them to like really think outside the box and put their input and stuff. So. I mean, if you think about it, as adults, when they have their jobs and stuff, they're going to have to do teamwork and give their input and decisions. So it's just a great way to practice that. Fold this one up, and then I can still put it. I, I want to put this here. So what I'm going to do is fold this up, and then I'm going to probably have to double tape this. So I think I'm going to cut this guy up so it's not taking up too much space. Like that it's bouncing up okay like that all right so the double tapes on the back and i'm just going to tape it down just so i can get a visual of what our ribbon's going to look like and i'm going to do the same to right, this so we have our ribbon down i'm just still wondering if i could fit this guy in because i got to fit a box in next to that i think i can yeah. Okay, so the next um, step I need to do is put the boxes next to them just to list out what they are for. And there's these boxes back here. This is, again, the Christmas sticker sheets. I'm just trying to see what size. I think I want to do a small one for this one. And then this one, there's a Santa hat on it. I could put it next to him. just next to it. Let's see. Maybe, oh, I guess it's there. I just wish this isn't so sticky. There we go. Okay, so that one's good. And then I'm just going to overlap this one. Make sure it's straight. Okay. Okay, so that's what I'm going to describe what this is for. And then... For this box, I'm going to use a green one with the same hat on it. And it's just going to say wrap around tree. All right, and then I think I want to add a Santa hat. If I see some Santa hats here, I think it'd be cute like that. Love it. So I'm going to put a box on this side too because I want to list out what the name of this theme is. So I think I'm going to do... I don't know if I could fit it all in that one. Let me just see. Santa's coming to town. Or I can do it... Let's see. And then cut off the excess. I think I could do that. All right, Vibe Makers, that is the end of the video. I love how this one turned out so much. Um, I really love 
the uh, tree and I, one of my favorite things um, I'm big on details but just with just adding that shading with the Tombow water marker it really makes the ribbon pop from the design and the stickers and just adding the ribbon like I'm so excited for this I cannot wait to decorate our Christmas tree so I'm gonna bring this up close so you can see so there's the theme Santa's coming to town and the Christmas tree with our fun little tag down there oh my gosh I love it and then right here it's really easy to make those quick little titles and then I just use some of that washi strip that was in the sticker book and then uh, Santa ribbon for bow and cascading down tree reindeer ribbon for bow and there's Santa and then down here it says green ribbon wrapped around the tree and you get your sample I love this you guys can do this also like if you're planning any home decor and um, you're trying to figure out uh, fabric swatches or paint swatches you can do this um, and then kind of visualize what it would look like um, in your workspace like maybe print out a picture of, of a room and then do some paint swatches on the side to kind of visualize it but I love doing stuff like this um, kind of brings brings out my little interior design uh, background but I love it so much I'm so excited to put this into real life with our Christmas tree and I know Chance is going to love this. Again, I'm pre-filming like I like to film um, when he's not here so I can spend quality time with him when he is here and I know this is going to be a great day decorating this. Our tradition is to decorate the day after Thanksgiving and put up our tree, put music on and just enjoy the day drinking hot cocoa. So I cannot wait to decorate. Um, definitely check out my Instagram stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. I have my link down below. I share um, a lot of this stuff on my Instagram stories so you guys can come along and see it come to life. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when I've posted my most recent video. And if I have any um, links to any of the items that I used and are still available, I'll put them down in my affiliate link section. Um, as always, guys, peace and love and happy holidays. Mm -hmm.